The research began on prosthetics in our group about um, three years ago or so when we were um, exploring uh, how to control um, you know, prosthetic limbs using muscle signals. And so um, we collaborate with the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago and we've done some research projects with them. And then um, the whole idea of using 3D printed prosthetics came about uh, around last year uh, when I was talking to another group member, uh, Mary Nguyen. And um, around this time, there was an explosion in um, using 3D printed prosthetics. Um, and you know, you'd see a news article every day about the latest 3D printed prosthetic hand. And um, so we were like, we can make our own prosthetic hand. We can leverage 3D printing technology and do this as well. There's a whole ton of metrics that we can use to quantify how well the, the prosthetic hand is performing. So for instance, we want to make sure that um, we can provide enough force so when the user is gripping like a Coke bottle, they can actually lift it up without right. uh, things slipping out of the hand. Um, and so, what was what we really needed to do in this project was to try and get the maximum performance from our motors from our electronics while also keeping the cost down because mm -hmm. you know we're deploying this in um, developing countries so uh, we wanted to be able to you know hit a price point where they would actually be able to mm -hmm. afford these prosthetic devices another aspect that i hadn't haven't mentioned yet so um, proprioception or joint position sense is just one um, aspect of the sensory feedback and then the other aspect of sensory feedback is touch or force feedback. So the way we do that is through um, sending uh, electrical stimulation, so a small amount of current um, through the skin. And so that will stimulate the nerves directly. And so by sending that current across the skin, we can make it feel like different types of sensations, like vibration, like tingling, uh, like pressure, um, or even pain um, if we, if we um, ramp the current up, which is an important physiological signal. Our, our next goal, um, we're, we're hoping to go back to Ecuador soon with a fully functional prototype um, and to actually incorporate the, the skin stretch um, device and the electrotactile stimulation to be one of the first sensory um, or one of the first prosthetic hands that incorporates sensory feedback.